Good afternoon, everybody. It is a fine month. starting without me. Because you're eating candy. It is a fine Monday afternoon. We're going to go explore our favorite resort of all time. If you know what that is, you're going to find out in a second anyway. Well, in this lodge. I want to go try to see if we can get a close-up look at one of the cabins. And just enjoy the atmosphere, the fireplace. They're showing cars tonight at 8.30. Look at my shirt. Might, might check out the... Um, See, she wore that for cars. And notice all of our other Route 66 stuff back here. And to make like, because we spend so much time in Disney World and we still have to put together our apartment to make it not such a daunting task. I said every day when I come home from work, I'll do something around the apartment, like hang something before we go out. So tonight, I hung these two signs, which I think is the last of our Route 66 signs. Mm -hmm. Do you like my all natural look today? Yeah. Guys, I have a sore throat. I really don't want to be sick. This is my favorite resort ever. We have breakfast there in two weeks. We do? That's, that's where we're going with Matt. When oh. Matt is here in two weeks. Matt's here in two weeks? Matt gets here on the 13th. Oh my, and we have the Hackett's coming this weekend? We have our cousins coming this weekend. Okay, so everyone's warned us, and everybody at my new job warned me, like, now that you live in Orlando and you're not from here, be ready, people are going to visit. Which I was like, yeah, they are, but they're not. Like, who's gonna come down here? But we've got, now this trip, some of these trips were planned before we moved here, but it's just a fact of the matter. We're in the world's largest, like, vacation hub in the whole universe. <laughs> the whole universe. <laughs> just to get bigger and bigger throughout that sentence. Oh, the beauty. Don't you just, can't you just see like a, a, a brown bear up there and a bald eagle soaring? Sarah's freezing. Yeah. Let's, hold on, should we go creep on, let's go creep on a cabin over here. Look at this buffalo. So now, if I realize we didn't tell you, um, there's the fireplace. We've been here before with Ben. This is Geyser Point, super good. Really want a snack from there or a cold pop. And here's the new pool. So, we yeah, we've never, we've never been over here. This looks so different. If you go up here, so when I do this, do you remember to put the videos up here? I do, but you usually do it on the wrong side. Okay, so... No, 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 this one is this way, but when we're facing each other... That's the other way? So over here, we'll put a video of the, like, the one take we took in our last trip in May, our long trip. We stayed partly at Old Key West, and then this, so this portion, I forgot, so this is the Copper Creek section. Like, cause this is a whole different building. That is a different building. That was always there, they just renovated it. Cause our bedroom was actually the top floor, like how the roof was like protruding right there. We were like that one. But that's original building. This was all construction land when we were here. We were for sure in this building though. Now. Yeah. Cause that's part of the hotel. Yeah. Remember we had to walk outside? Yeah. And here is the Cascade Cabins. Look at, <gasps> look at that. Well, I know this is like a lot of Peter Rambles right now, but look at this cool sign this like bowler cart in the ground I didn't even realize it is is like a railway this goes all the way this is just like awesome theming everything looks so fresh and so new look at I can see inside it yeah all the trees need supports and look at these are like just babies it's very quiet That's over why here people say that bungalows of the Polynesian because even though you have like an awesome view of Magic Kingdom, it is like the hustle and bustle and the ferry and all the boats and stuff, but like this is like relaxation. Well, you can see the back porch on this one. Hold on, let me zoom in. That's easily, that's easily 20 feet. Though they're DVC, they are large. They sleep a lot of people, even for DVC members they take up an exorbitant amount of points. So for instance, Sarah and I have 150 points a year. Um, to stay in one of these, I just happened to see it earlier. It was somewhere around the range for like a week. It was something like 500 or 600 points, depending on what, what time of, depending on what time of the year. The part of the year that I was looking at was like middle range, I think. And for seven nights, it was like five, between five and 600 points. So it's almost, four, like it's almost five years worth of our Timeshare that and DB Disney doesn't even allow you to use it in that manner. Like you can use a you can use three years worth of points at, at one time, not five. So like with the contract we have now, we could never stay a full like even five or six we nights. We could stay one night here. We could stay one or two <laughs> for nights for a whole year. 
and use up an entire year's worth of vacation. Um, so right now, where we're at, we won't be staying in these anytime in the near soon. Unless near future. they just give it to us. Yes. We win a contest. We win a contest. Oh, there's a fireplace in these back coaches here. Look at that. Look at these decorative steps. Amazing, Disney. Amazing. These things are gorgeous. I want to stay in one so bad. Oh, we got a good, good view of, uh, wow. Look at that. You just come out, you just come out to, um, look at that view of the Contemporary in Bay Lake. Oh, <gasps> they have little pools. What? Yeah, just like, uh, the bungalows. There's, and there's a little gate off, see that little gate right there? That is for a little pool. I wonder if it's a pool or a hot tub. That is in, like, in the cabin. That is something else. And then right over there you can see there's other cabins. We were just right there, it's where I saw the, uh, the tracks below. And then actually, I wonder if you can see from this side. We'll see if we can go on the other side, but all the way on the other side of the property, the very other side is over there, there's more cabins. Amazing. How tall this tree is? This tree was here when Walt was here, probably. And now there's a cabin next to it. outside into the best pool that Disney World has to offer. We're still gonna hang out here I think for the night or for a while but I don't think that the movie under the stars is gonna happen because you're not gonna be able to see the stars because of the rain but that's Florida living for you. I may or may not have left Sarah alone over there and I think she fell asleep. Sarah did fall asleep. We are gonna show you the, the cool train room. I don't we know if it's it on the but not on this channel. And Kristen used to work here, and so she said that sometimes, because that's what she did, it's not the kids' activities, is that sometimes if it was rainy, instead of doing the movie on the stars outside, she'd bring it into the train room. So it might be worth sticking around to see. If, uh, if they're gonna do it in the train room, but regardless, we'll show you the, the train room now before it gets full of people, if that's the case. So it's not as high, but just almost as beautiful. Here is the lobby of the DVC building. But there's some people enjoying the train room, which I'll show you momentarily, but it's that way or that way. Just saying, for my birthday, everybody, <laughs> I need this rocking chair. Maybe we'll go to Habitat for Humanity. Oh, good thinking. So we decided we're we decided we're not giving up on um, Wilderness Lodge because this is what the relaxation nights are about. But we're gonna go get some some cokes and go back to the main building. <laughs> Guys, their point is still bumping even though it's all rainy outside. Oh yeah, get a cold pop. That's our other slogan. First is, it's good to be home. The second is, a cold pop. Ooh, 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 she's got her pop. Yeah, she's got her pop. Yeah. Do you feel better now? She's so sick. I hate it. She needs the carbonation to clear her throat and the sugar to get her blood pumping. Let's go find a spot in this joint over here by that fireplace. We don't think we're going to watch the movie. It's still happening. The rain stopped and we went out and spent some nice time at uh, Geyser Point. I think we're gonna stay there tonight. We're trying to get a good spot for the fireworks. I mean, we hear there's a good spot on the pier. Yeah, like the deck that you would usually like wait for the boat at. Yeah. 
So we're gonna try to sneak over there. It's been going on for like 10 minutes already. We can hear it pretty well. It's like the villain's part. Yes, so we're gonna try to catch the last bit of that and then uh, see if any of the little fun games are open and available at uh, Geyser Point. This is our favorite part. My, my heroes welcome right. Wow. Their wishes, fireworks. Yeah. Ooh! Get it, Tink. <laughs> I tried to make my sneeze quiet. <laughs> she tried to make herself sneeze quiet, but turned it into a trombone. That's thing is. Gather all your personal items and take them all to by the hand. Now go find your. So here is the cool recreational area right by Geyser Point. You got a ping pong table where some rambunctious little kids are at. Pool table, which is what we're gonna have our fun plan. He used to have a pool table at his house. Yes. So this will be interesting because I used to play, and Sarah and would. I used to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, this is what the table has become. She might beat me, guys. She's a pool ball princess, if you ever seen one. <laughs> okay. I call, this pocket. call that pocket? There. Physics. Physics. To its finest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. She didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, no! <laughs> she almost scratched. Okay, okay. Eight ball. That corner pocket. <laughs> there was a spider on your shoulder. Is it gone? No. Where is it? Butt. It had a great butt. Is it on you? Let me look. Oh wait, stop, stop moving, stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it is now. <laughs> it wasn't that big. I was thinking tarantula. No! <laughs> no! So what does that mean? That means I lose. That means. I what? That means you won. We did a good game. I blame the spider on this blue house. Why? It was yeah. a diversion. <laughs> yeah, you got me all anxious filled with you running around with a spider on your shoulder. Well, you want to play some ping pong? Yeah, let's go return this stuff and get a um, ping pong set. Okay. If it's a rainy day, if it's a rest day, if it's just a good old day. Copper Creek Cabins. What? For your entertainment. What? I'm making an infomercial for Disney. Oh. And you're the star. Great. Is that your water? No. I'm about to see. Ooh. show you look at our little rough these are rough for our match you can go back to resting we'll leave you alone hey, we were so bad at our game that our ref decided to quit 
Oh my god, he just jumped so far! Where are you going to next? He's holding on good. He's big. Oh my gosh, that looked crazy. We are home and we are tired from all of our fun having at Wilderness Lodge. Mm -hmm. I think this puppy is tired too. Look at yeah. she's doing. She's giving a side eye to the camera. She's over it. So I'm finally bringing stuff to my desk tomorrow. Make Check this out. I've got, I've got, I've got a mug with Matt stuff. A mug with Chicago Mickey. Picture of me and Sarah. Chicago flag. Um, coaster. Coaster. So. That'll be the start of making my little desk and cubicle look and making my own. Yeah, and so we have um, a subscriber of ours, Eddie Wynn, whose family is actually in Houston right now, um, you know, dealing with everything that's going on with the bad storms. And he had told us how that watching YouTube is really helping their, their family be patient in between updates. Um, and just to bring to the attention all the wonderful work that the people that are coming in to help and give relief to these people. and. You know, that's what Mayor the Coast Guard, the, the, all about. The, the, the firemen and police and just the, the average people that have boats that are able to help with all like the rescue missions and everything, so. Yeah, so just a shout out to all of them for doing such a wonderful yeah. job and hopefully Keep there doing will what be, you're doing. yeah, good news. They want to use the, um, the hashtag Houston Strong and if there's anything that you can do to, you know, help give some relief or send anything, you know, be sure to do that. And put a comment down below so other people who see this can can maybe see that and think of how they can help. Yeah. With that, it's good to be home. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.